reasons for that. Some promises you couldn't keep if you wanted to keep. Amen. And, and, and there are different types of promises. Yeah. Right? There are unnecessary promises. Right. And you know what those are. Those, those are promises like what we saw in our text tonight. Uh, God did not ask the man to cut a deal with him. Sometimes we think, God, you sold me up this time. Right. All right, all right. All right. God, God, lo and behold, God so we up. Yeah. And as quick as shut. Well, well. You know what happens. Yeah. God, if you deliver me this time. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna do that no more. Yeah. We used to have a cousin named Papa Richard. He was a drunk. <laughs> I mean a real one. Yeah. Sometimes Papa Richard would get drunk and be dozing off and he'd wake up and say. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> and said, "What that, Richard?" He said, "I just ain't gonna do that no more." <laughs> and I reckon he had sense enough to promise, you know, to not promise he wasn't gonna get drunk no more. Right. But some of us will swear. Amen. You understand? Yeah. That experience was so bad. But as long as we're in the, the experience, yeah. it seems bad. But yeah. when God Can put on you. Amen. 
And whatever you say you're going to stop doing, it becomes beyond your control. Paul said that when I would shut, desire to do good, he does in all ways present. Some of us can't deal with it as well as other folks. Some of us can't have no temptation like other folks can. We promise to stop doing stuff that the devil builds with all of us that have taken root so good. Now they say, you can't play if you want to play. Most folk who are strung out on crack would have quit crack before they lost their job. Why are they saying that? If they had the ability within themselves to quit smoking. Then the alcoholics who have been warned and suspended. Uh, yeah. Now to the point of losing their jobs would have quit drinking a long time ago. Yeah. If they had the ability to quit on their own. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You better hear me tonight. Sometimes you, you can start stuff on your own. Yeah. I told you that the Israelites went into Egypt as welcome guests. Yes. Uh -huh. But once they got in there, My they became God. slaves. Amen. And that's how the devil does with you. Yeah. Oh, you welcome. You, you, you be made welcome. Most folks, the reason why they're so willing to try drugs is because you get your face a hit yeah. or two free. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Right. Amen. Nobody gonna come up to you. You ain't never smoked no crack. Tell me, I got some crack. You want a hundred dollars worth? Uh, Y'all ain't saying that. Uh, Amen. They welcome you. Hear this here. <laughs> the uh, all right. I told you before, folk who drink alcohol, and this ain't no preaching against your message. I don't preach like that. I need to make myself clear. Uh -huh. Every person who ever drank a lip, uh, shot a liquor, I don't care who you were, how old you were, when you drank it, that had to be the nasty thing you ever did. So I ought to say something. You got to be a good drinker to know how to get to the sweet taste and stuff. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to develop, you got to develop a taste for that stuff. Y'all ain't saying that. The first drink some of us were young and maybe not even grown and picked up Mama Glass when her head was turned. Once yeah. you had a way to know you had picked it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you can turn up a fifth and don't never flinch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Got past your control. Well. You can promise to stop all you want to stop. Uh -huh. But the devil have made it become part of you. Have mercy. It's time tonight instead of making promises. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's come to one who made us promises. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. For the Bible gives that God will keep all his promises. Yes, sir. Yeah. You better hear me tonight. Everything that God have ever said he'll do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You better know that he'll do it. Yeah. In fact, the scripture says there be a discrepancy. Let God be true, uh huh, and every man a liar. That is, I don't care what other folks say. You better hear and believe what God says. And I think tonight, when we think about it, many times there are folk who have made uncontrollable promises. You understand that's something you wish you could do, but in reality, you can't do. All right. yeah. And I know my brothers and sisters know tonight what I'm talking about. Right. Every year at Christmas time, yeah, <laughs> when mama said, next year gonna be a better year. <laughs> All right. You understand that? And she wouldn't say it because we didn't have nothing to eat. But other folk had bicycles. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Talk of trucks and bowling arrows and whatever folk had. Right. And, 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 and when we didn't have much money with